spots. No problems. We'll go to my favorite spot. I'm starving. Yep. Yeah, all the time. Nice little insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This angle is good. Usually I'm sitting about this uh, direction in this height. And we'll see how the camera looks. I'm liking the uh, the lack in wind noise in this variant helmet. It has a very big front with uh, air slots on the sides so they're out of the way entirely. So if I do want to open them, it'll get loud, but it closes off almost entirely. Very nice, very nice. Great feature. Fantastic. What should we talk about on this ride? Oh, this is a turn only lane. Talk about how to not ride into a turn only lane and go straight. God, I'm such an idiot. Oh, he snuck to the other side of me. He did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to talk about. What to talk about. Not much happening on Tuesdays. stare like that <laughs> what do you know you walking I'm riding I get where I want ten times faster than you no respect yeah I don't know what should we talk about we can get all deep thought on it or random I tend to deep, deep think when I ride. We can, t we can talk about that. What type of thinking do you do when you ride? Or whatever you do, say you don't ride. Whatever hobby you do that gets you away from others, what kind of thinking usually transpires in your head? Like another thing I do is hike. But I ain't talking about your little petty hikes. I'm talking about six to seven hour treks that are like 11 to 12 miles and uh, a raise of about 3,000 feet elevation. I'm talking about them kind of hikes. Lots of time to think, 
Lots of time to test yourself. It's always good to test yourself. Push yourself to the next limit in whatever you're doing. Never settle. You never got you gotta never settle. Oh, hello ladies. So yeah, like what kind of thoughts come to your mind when you're doing whatever you enjoy? Whether it's riding, hiking, bicycling, surfing, uh running. What what kind of goes down? You know mine gets a little bit mixed. You could think about your future and your goals in life, things like that. Where the hell is the gas station? God damn it. There was supposed to be a gas station. God, I drive here every freaking day. I don't even remember where the gas station is. Uh, we're going to be flipping to reserve and going to the next exit. Because I, I ain't going across the bridge. I'm getting on the freeway. But yeah, like what kind of thoughts? Like today, for instance, I was thinking about the things that I want to do miniature goals of sorts not really life goals like a career and a family and those types of things oh I think a little solid white I didn't realize that but just like goals things that I want to do things that I would enjoy like for instance motor vlogging something that I started because I enjoy it I think it's fun and it's, I don't know, it's a time for me to grab some of those thoughts and just put them out there for people. Whether you guys like it or not, if you don't, I mean, that's, that's up to you. That's what opinions are all about. But since I enjoy writing and I do it on usually a daily basis, Thought it'd be good. Plus, I, I plan on doing some interesting stuff with this bike, not just regular riding. Oh, come on. You gonna scoot over for me here? No? Alright then. Whatever. Another one of my goals is to do a long hike at least once a week. I I plan them for Sundays. I do the whole nine yards. I prepare the week ahead. I find the hike I want. Go ahead, go ahead. You're halfway there. I mean, come on. I can't pass you if you're sitting at the line. Yeah, okay, where was I? Oh, you see that extended mirror? That thing was trying to grab me. But yeah, something like like that, you, you prepare. Not like the, like a last minute thing. Like We all do those spontaneous things, they're fun. But a lot of times, I this is the stuff I'll think about when I'm riding. And I'll try to plan it in my head, and then you, it's executing it is the biggest thing though. But like, stuff like that, it's, it's, a, it's a mini goals, I, I would say. And they're really good to have, you know? If you think too far in the future and you try to like figure everything out at once, you're gonna stretch yourself out, man. You're gonna fry your brain. So yeah, mini goals are great. You know, little things, they'll help you, they'll help you improve in your career aspect, in your, you know, your social aspect and all that stuff. Just little mini goals, just little personal goals. But yeah, you, I mean, take take them and commit to them. Commit to those mini goals. Hey, you'll be surprised how good it'll make you feel. It's just fun, man. It's enjoyable. You gotta enjoy life. I ramble a lot, I'm sorry. It probably gets all over the place. I mean, what the hell were we talking about in the first place? Just, we were talking about what you think about. And then I just got all lost into one specific thing. Are you gonna change lanes? Are you just gonna see what I, you know, I mean, you got your blinker on, I respect that, and I give you that turn, because you turn your blinker on. I mean, I'm getting to a lane share, and avoid being in accidents, I might as well not try to pass you when you turn your blinker on. 
I'm not being sarcastic, I swear. I, sometimes it just comes out sarcastic. That person totally did exactly what they should, and I politely, you know, I'm, I'm a nice guy, man. No hurry. Most bikers will probably pass them. But yeah, everybody should set a miniature goal and try to do it. It could just be like a one-time thing, not a reoccurring thing. Say you're gonna hike uh, one specific mountain. Make that a goal. Plan it out. Start on Monday. Research the hike. Know what it takes to do it. Look at reviews that people give it. And if you think that's difficult, like a difficult hike, it's the same aspect with everything. Do miniature hikes before that. Maybe maybe plan it for four weeks ahead. You just you just fit it into your day in the little gaps of time you have. You gotta make time for that stuff, you know? Don't get caught up in everything else. Don't get caught up in drama. Don't get caught up in bullshit. You gotta be like, just not care about that stuff. Have that, have that I don't give a shit attitude towards that bullshit. And you'll find, you'll realize how much time you have to spend thinking about more important things that make you happy. Oh no! Oh no, guys! I am sputtering. Gotta hit on that reserve. I got, I got lost rambling! I need gas! I need gasoline! You gotta find me an exit. Pronto. Holy shit. Holy shit. That thing was about to kill out on me. I should be alright. Oh no, this one doesn't. I don't want to go to SeaWorld. I don't like SeaWorld! Shit! I may have to! No, oh, I'm not going to SeaWorld. They don't have what I want. They don't have what I want. Mm, no, I don't see one over there. Do you guys? I don't. I see a Toys R Us. They got stuff I'd like to spend my money on, not gasoline. Well, shit. Now we got a freeway coming up. That's not gonna have a gas station. God damn it. All right. Just keep riding until you. Oh, I know where one is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. I got. I got this. I got this. It's a nice one too. It's a shell. Coming through, mate. Mine. Coming through, mine. I'm good. I think we're good. Yep, there it is. Shell gasoline. I knew it was a shell. I seen it before. My savior. Ooh, that'd be fun to ride those. I, think, I don't think anything. Oh no, yeah, no, something goes on those tracks. Never mind. I remember now. It's a very fast train. That would be fun. Go find an old train track, ride on it. Right? That'd be fun, right? Thank you for not running out of gas. <laughs> <laughs>